Good morning, folks. I saw an observing campaign answering more viewer questions. Got some good links here as well, including this I showed last night. It's the observing windows for certain spacecraft and observatories. This chart shows opportunity to image, not necessarily scheduled to do so, but it'll point you towards who has the opportunity to see ISON and when. University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, here's their model showing two developing cells in the tropics. Been watching this one approach Baja for days. You can see it way right on the screen, but this moisture is being stolen and yanked north by other powerful lows. It'll mix there with North Pacific moisture for today's U.S. watch zone. Tropical Storm Gabrielle has been named east of the Caribbean. Hopefully she will swing out to sea. The snowstorm trapped a few tourists as it more than dusted parts of Southland. The system is moving north now with another swath cresting southern Australia, some sparse rain at the north coast. Primary low at Europe is setting a counterclockwise drive on the north here, complementing some pop-up thunderstorms in the Mediterranean as always this time of year. NASA is expecting a coronal hole impact today, but I submit that it's struck already. We've been showing it, and in fact, the speed is on her way down, according to ACE here. Any impacts we do have would break this delicate equilibrium, seen as near-perfect curves on the electron flux. The solar flares are low as well. They took a brief but small uptick due to the activity of departing sunspots, especially on the south. Last night's news turned observers' eyes, however, to the eastern limb, where incoming active regions abound. Magnetic connectivity did some shifting in the last day. Earth dropped the proximity warning and picked it right back up this morning. Remember, we have the direct Earth-facing coronal holes today. They combine with today's new moon to carry on the watch at this time. And carry on it has. Six-pointer struck the Atlantic Ocean. Very unusual location. Quaking has died down in our mega-quake watch zones, but Japan 2011 and Russia 2013 both waited two days after the initial uptick to pop. Let's hope that's not the case today. Advanced solar watching point here for those who feel comfortable with how to watch the sun and the energy transferring alpha and wave factor of coronal holes. Take a blue umbral field and disconnect it from the sun, let it fly into space. You got yourself a coronal hole. This is one way they transfer energy better to the planets, have magnetic quake trigger potential, and force out speedy solar wind streams. On the right side, you see the sun's most powerful coronal hole about to say hi. In fact, he's peeking over the left edge onto the disk already. The darkest spot centrally here is that leading edge creeping in. The hole itself is the dark area top left. Had a heck of an eruption off the backside yesterday. Makes for good Lasco images as well. FYI, it's SDO eclipse season. And despite the new moon today, I understand it is indeed Earth doing the blocking. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.